Hey guys, here's another <clears throat> quick video on a type of multiplication that we have not done yet. <clears throat> we have not done the standard algorithm for a two digit times a two digit number. So I'm going to go over that with you. That's technically not a skill that you have to know in fourth grade, but it is good to know it because it's going to get you ahead for fifth grade. So nothing wrong with going on and getting a little bit ahead. Never has been anything wrong with that. So I'm going to flip over to my document camera, which is hopefully going to work. You, it's not working right now. So let's see if I can get it fixed and get it to work. So I'm going to switch around again. Maybe this time will work. There we go. Now we're working. Okay. So let's talk about if we had the number 48 and we multiplied it times 64. 48 times 64. Well, the first thing you're going to do, okay, when you are dealing with a number like this, I'm going to lower my exposure a little bit, okay, so you're going to pretend like that six does not exist. And then we're going to use the same strategy that we used with a, a multi-digit times a one-digit. We're going to say four times eight, which is 32, and we put the two, we'd regroup the three, and then we would say 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Okay, there. Now we've done the first part, which means we're done with that 4. We're done with that 4, and we're done with that 3 right there. So what we're moving, we're going to move over to the tens place. Well, anytime we multiply anything times something in the tens place, we're going to have a 0 in the ones place. So if I move over to multiply times this place value, i got to put a 0 for it. Because now I'm in the tens, so i got to put a zero here. And I start multiplying the same way. Six times eight is 48. So I'm going to put my four up there now. Six times four is 24, plus four is 28. These are two partial products. I'm going to add them together. Two plus zero is two. 9 plus 8 is 17. Regroup your 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3,072. And again, that's just a short way, just a, a real quick explanation of something we haven't really done this year. And again, you're not going to use that a lot until next year because you know how to multiply two-digit times a two-digit with the area model and partial products. But I want you to go on and be able to see what the standard algorithm process is for it. So maybe you could go on and begin to practice some. 